An update on the ransomware attack that disrupted services for nearly a month, and it's not good news. And Makovic joins us now with the alert the city just issued today. And tell us whomever accessed the city's data apparently plans to release that information publicly. We still don't know what information they might have. The city released an update today saying that while the investigation continues, quote, we recently became aware that an unauthorized third party has acquired certain files from our network and intends to release the information publicly. We are working with third party specialists and law enforcement on this issue. So it appears as if the city did not meet their demands for ransom and will now pay the price with a data breach. That is after a month of drama that's been impacting the city's computers. People have been having trouble with everything from paying tickets to filing reports. Now, our security expert, a former FBI special agent, says the hackers could release their information onto the public domain or sell it on the dark web. Either way, it could cause real problems depending on what the hackers have. Anything in their database is going to be like their name, date of birth, you know, probably marriage data, social security, anything like that. And it, then all of a sudden you've got everything you need, all the tools you need to build a, a credit history. You know, although it would be false, it's, you know, a credit history or apply for credit cards and that sort of thing. So the city of Oakland says it will notify anybody whose personal information is involved once they figure it out. It is likely city employees. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security are still on the case. Ryan.